Hi guys. <laughs> I had to do a very dramatic hello because I know it's been a long time. It's been a long time. And honestly, this video is going to explain why it's been a long time. But the main reason is because life i think i'll just say life <laughs> hence a life update video but i'm also going to be doing my makeup so this is going to be a bit of a chit chat get ready with me so if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button below please like just help me out and hit the subscribe button below um and yeah let's actually just get into it so you guys you guys get the update okay but like i said if you know by now or if you don't know by now i'm not really good at multitasking which is why i don't do these videos a lot but we're gonna try we're gonna attempt to so i'm just gonna start off color correcting and then yeah you get the gist of it so it's been a long time and honestly there is no good enough reason to explain why it's been so long apart from the fact that like life just been happening things have just been wow my dog is really trying to get in this video aren't you oh, too bad they can't see you um <laughs> yeah, sorry um life just been happening you know i don't really know what to say a lot's been going on at the same time um i did travel kind of recently last month i can't believe it's august already like this is crazy um I, oh, okay bye i traveled last month just for the weekend it wasn't anything crazy uh traveled with some friends and we went to benin benin that's how the french say it but it's benin and in benin we were in cotonou which was really nice um, i'm gonna try and like upload some pictures and like um yeah probably just pictures of what we were doing and the things we saw it was really cool we had been planning it for so long so it was like really nice that we finally went i feel like this um exposure is a bit too high sorry my dogs are just deciding to bark now um so yeah we did travel and it was a good time you know we saw things that were really really cool okay just hold on because i'm about to literally send them off who is that sorry um someone just came to visit me and it was very unexpected they just walked up the stairs and i was like hi hello so yeah where did i start we went kotonou and it was just really it was a really nice getaway vibe like you'll see the pictures when i put them up on the screen like it was just a nice getaway private you know not too much but like just what you needed so yeah been doing a bit of traveling i also was in london in june so but yeah i was trying not to travel around too much this summer because traveling is just really long and tedious because of covid like so it's actually also very expensive you have to pay for like so many tests depending where you're going and where you're coming from so i wasn't really trying to do that my family are currently in america and i was i could have gone with them but i was like no 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 i'm not trying to go anywhere right now like i was not in the mood and i could not be bothered so i'm here but then i decided to go to kotonu which is really fun so yeah that's been that um everything else has been crazy um life's been hard i'm not even gonna lie life life's been difficult it's been dramatic it's been sad it's been happy it's been different things and it's kind of hard navigating that as well um especially when it comes to my relationships um you know because they don't really you don't learn these things anywhere and as i'm getting older and and as i'm having my own personal experiences i'm seeing that yeah they really don't teach you this stuff and it's just so necessary it's so key it's so important and it's like 
what guidance do you have what guide do you have to just like follow nothing so here i am trying to navigate relationships at my big age well in my head i'm still a baby to be honest speaking of big age my birthday is coming up in like it's the fourth today so my birthday is on the 15th and well that's probably going to be a disaster as always i mean yeah I'm not really looking forward to it this year it's not really been good for the past year so i'm not really looking forward to it to be honest um but we'll see what happens we'll see i don't know i really don't know so yeah i've just been struggling to navigate my relationships family relationships romantic relationships but i have been learning a lot as well so it's really teaching me the things i do need to know it's kind of hot so i'm just gonna like slide this down it's been teaching me a lot teaching me things i feel like i wouldn't learn anywhere else especially when it comes to my romantic relationships um i learn a lot in there as well when i'm dealing with my partner you know like just we people humans are just very complex individuals we're just very complex beings so when two people come together it's very very complex it's actually very difficult and it takes a while it takes a really long time to actually get to know somebody else because it takes a long time to get to know yourself at least like it's 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 not something that's learned overnight do you get what i mean like it is a very it's a process and it's a long one at that so it's one thing learning about yourself it's another thing learning about someone else and then learning them the right way as well the way they would like to be understood you know what i mean like you have to understand yourself as well as understand the other person so that they feel understood if not it's just chaotic and it gets really messy and chaotic i just like lost so much footage like shit wasn't even recorded anyway so yeah i'm just trying to figure out my relationships and really navigate it and it's really hard like it's really challenging like no one actually talks about how challenging it can be to get it right and to actually form healthy balanced um happy long-lasting relationships like it's actually long it's, it's really hard so but the good thing about relationships is that they really teach you lessons and I feel like they teach you lessons you can't really learn anywhere else. Um, so that's why I really, really value um, relationships, at least from my experience anyway. Like, it's just taught me so much that I feel like I wouldn't learn anywhere else. So for me, it's a really great learning experience and it teaches you a lot about yourself and the kind of person you are, the kind of person you want to be which is a good thing obviously so it's not all bad it's not all bad honestly it's not all bad um it's just that getting it right can be really hard that's the thing but yeah we're not perfect i'm not perfect so i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna try and learn from my mistakes um you know that's the whole point of them the whole point of lessons is to learn something even if you do make mistakes like it's fine because everybody's going to make mistakes so yeah um it's hot but i'm just wearing this because it's like at the same time cozy so i apply my co uh, color correct and then i just used my dior foundation uh and now i'm looking for my mm, the young uh concealer so i'm gonna be using this under my eyes i actually want to go out i don't know where to go to though so i'm gonna like try and see where i can go because i'm like i'm not i don't know what am i doing at home nothing so i might just go out somewhere or go chill somewhere because yeah what i'm hoping is that i can actually get the hang of it that's what i'm hoping for like I hope it's not just going to be that I just keep on making mistakes and not getting it right. I didn't even know why I was closing my... I don't know what I was doing just now. But, yeah. So, 
I'm not really trying to keep making those mistakes and repeating patterns that are just like the same if you get me so I'm just learning a lot right now to be honest which is good learning is always good learning is always good gonna see what I can get done today I'm trying to multitask but I don't even know if it's working I feel like the struggle is real like it's definitely a struggle I mean maybe I'm just saying this because I am struggling but oh well I know that we all struggle from time to time so at least you're not alone now hearing me say this so that's a good thing I don't usually like putting makeup too much makeup on my nose but then i realize actually when i don't put makeup there it looks weird as well because then it's just my nose that has no makeup on it mental health is also a thing that i try and be aware of constantly so um i do prioritize it and i do try to make sure that i i'm in a good place um more often time so you know and obviously things like relationships will take a toll on your mental health just because like that's just kind of how it goes sometimes but you know so yeah i do try to prioritize it and make sure that i'm still okay as a person and i'm still able to do the things that i need to do and so by doing that i'm by checking my mental health um i'm checking if i'm okay i'm checking okay am i still okay to actually be in this relationship you know and sometimes i'm like okay i need a break <laughs> i'd be doing that i'd be taking my breaks okay i take my breaks and i will let my partner know okay i just need like a break i need space or whatever it is and then when i do that i feel better i feel like okay you know you're doing this for yourself so that you can be better self you know it just makes sense to me and sometimes i feel like it's something that i genuinely need so i just do it you know because if it's going to help me, then it's going to help my relationship. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I am big on doing my mental health breaks and just making sure that I'm good. So, let me just adjust my lighting. Making sure that I'm good. Because it's necessary. I'll take my breaks so i'll make sure that i'm okay you know that life's okay and i'm good regardless of what is going on you know i feel like i'm not even trying to do too much right now i was gonna i was like oh should i put on lashes but where am i going so, whatever and I recommend this to people who like maybe get drained because one thing about me is that I do get drained. My energy is very like sensitive. So I do be getting drained from time to time. So I do need breaks. I also take social media breaks as well because sometimes it's just actually a bit much. I'm not a heavy social media person as well. So I can actually like do it. Like I'm actually fine doing a social media break like i don't care i really don't care so yeah i just use this cute blush it's really nice and like soft and rosy on my cheeks this is also a dior contour it's, old. it's very old though it's very old i don't even have like real steps that i do i just like eventually my face is done you know nothing crazy 
But yeah, a lot's been happening. I don't know if I've even done a good job of explaining how it's all been happening. It's just been happening. Like, life's been taking its toll, doing its thing. And I've been trying to manage. I've been trying to stay alive. I'm gonna lie my lips now. So, yeah. me off it's gonna piss me off you know I'll go through phases where I'm just like struggling with my struggling to balance everything out and like maintain a good meant be good mentally and also be trying to like maintain a good relationship with everyone around me and sometimes it's just a lot for me so i will take breaks from everyone like everyone but yeah anyway moving on let's move on to something brighter guys have you been watching love island <laughs> love island um i've been watching it and i think this is one of the first times i'm like watching it as it's like going on and it's actually really it's gone dramatic recently i'm not gonna lie at first i was like what is this like why did they even bother but i'm actually very like it's so funny to me it's so funny <laughs> it's so funny the way everyone's moving the way like things are going um uh, i love toby though i actually love him like he's so funny um he's so funny because he's just doing whatever the fuck he wants to do and he doesn't even care who he's hurting i mean that's not a good thing but he's just entertaining like he's so unpredictable that guy's crazy he's crazy um but yeah it's been actually entertaining so far and really interested to see what happens by the end what i actually get interested by is like what's gonna happen when they leave when they all leave the villa like who's actually still gonna be with who i'm interested i feel like i have the most hope on jake and liberty because bro they've actually been together since day one they have been together since day one that's so cute like it's really cute. They've actually been together since the beginning. Um, yeah. Uh, Liam and Millie. I don't know how that's gonna go. We'll just have to see with them too. We're just gonna have to see, you know. So yeah, it's been a good watch. It's been a good watch. Excuse me. And then with, oh, uh, the drama has just been very, very crazy, like very intense. Um, and oh my God, Kaz and this Tyler guy, like, oh, anyway, they do need, they're not even going to end up together now because I feel like she's just moved on. So whatever, but yeah. We'll see how it goes. Um, can we also talk about how there's gonna be Love Island Nigeria? Like, that's a thing apparently. <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, where is this taking place? Who is this taking place with? And yeah, how like how is this actually happening? Is it gonna even last? Like, I'm so confused. I mean, it could be. It's probably gonna be very funny, and but I'm like where are they doing this and who is who is actually on the show like i'm not understanding <laughs> just imagine <laughs> just actually imagine love island nigeria bro good luck to everyone that's participating in that i mean it sounds like it could be good i just hope they do it right like let them just actually do it right <laughs> 
let them just do it right that's all i'm saying okay i feel like i'm wrapping up now i really don't want this video to be that long anyway i'm just going to highlight and then yeah using this palette and my fan brush Sometimes I will go back to my concealer bit and then I will set. Yeah, I kind of do this a bit messy, I know. So yeah, I just set with this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop <laughs> and then I use this brush to do that. So and then sometimes if I feel like I'm not seeing the product I want to see, I just go over it with my brush. And yeah, we're done. So that's it been it for my chit chat get ready with me just wanted to update you guys talk to you guys a little bit let you guys know where i've been you know and also do my makeup i'm not like the best at great as i makeup i just do what works on my face and like there's no real like glam to it i mean i'm just this is everyday chill so it's not really anything glam but um yeah at least you guys now I know what I've been up to and I'm actually going to see my face. So um, hopefully I will see you guys very soon in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you want to, but definitely subscribe. Like that's a must, okay? That's a must. Bye.